Whatever I do in my photography, my exercise is to be sure that my composition spells out how you can enjoy this kind of architecture. I photographed that house in 1947. That photograph is one of my icons. Gosh, wouldn't it be nice to live in a house like this? Bandit Toshin calls me one shot showman. I take one negative in black and white, one transparency in color. I've got another showman masterpiece. That's my modesty. When I began my work with architects and magazines, I observed that very few photographers use people. So I said to myself, well, my gosh, if I'm gonna photograph architecture, I wanna show architecture being functional. And I use people in all sorts of ways in my photographs. The moment a person appears in the picture, it entices the audience of the photograph to see another dimension of architecture as how the house appears to the people who live and work in the house. I'm a merchandiser. I'm merchandising architecture. All these photographs tell a story. This is one of my most successful case study house photographs, mainly because it has people in it. The young lady had a cocktail glass in her hand. I had to raise that glass. It makes all the difference in the world where her hand was placed. This is one of the case study houses in the Hollywood Hills. I planted that man with the binoculars to add a little bit of human scale to that scene. Imagine doing this work for 77 years. I'm still at it at the age of 98. There's no limit to what you can do with photography, any art, photography. That's the story of my life. <laughs>